All right, drive train. It is a Saturday. It's a beautiful Saturday. We are hanging out at Richmond BMX again, and we're gonna get warmed up. Let's do some riding. We got some friends coming out. Just a pretty chill session. Uh, I'm on the cruiser today. I'm gonna hit some jumping, try and get some power laps in because I'm not racing this weekend. Might even hit the dirt jumps if they're not too wet. It rained a little yesterday, but enough of the talking. Let's get to the ride and let's get warmed up. Here we go. Alright, got warmed up. Check the dirt jumps. They are way too muddy and way too wet. So we're just going to be over here working on some stuff. Hit this third, uh, this triple going into the first jump and uh, catch some clips of that. See if I can get it on the cruiser. Let's go. It worked. Wait, I'm videoing the video of the video of the video. Yeah? Yeah, on, on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, man. That's me. Just hanging out riding bikes. All right, what's up, Drive Train? We are back today. Camera failed the other day. Battery died. So we're gonna turn this into a quick little uh, pre-race training video for the week. So Saturday, we were obviously at the track. I was working on some cruiser stuff. Today we're hitting gates. I'm not gonna talk, let's do it. bad for the first one cold gate uh, I gotta slow the uh, setup timer down now that was pretty quick I was not set so you might not see it because of the sunshine but on this yellow cat you got two knobs on the top and this this one on the left is the setup time so I'm gonna turn that up some that's just when you push the button it, it gives you more time before it starts the sequence the one on the right is uh, how fast the gate lets go and I'm not going to change that I've raced uh, Nova before and it's uh, it's a it's a good gate it's pretty quick it's not slow so I'll leave that there let's keep going here riders random start riders ready watch the gate riders ready watch the gate Ready, watch the gate. 
So I can get my head and shoulders to move forward more this time. Here, riders, random start. Riders ready. Watch the game. All right, that last one felt good with the head and shoulders, so we're gonna see if we can do it again. Lucky number seven. Watch the game. All right, guys, we're back here at the home gym in the backyard. The place on that side is kind of a wreck because we're building a patio and, uh, and all kinds of stuff, trying to make this backyard usable, but we're here to talk about training. And so today I'm just doing a backyard workout. I'm gonna do, uh, I, I did about 20 minutes on the cruiser, on the trainer, just in the shed. And then I'm gonna hit kind of a giant set over here. So if you don't know what that means, it's multiple exercises in a row. Um, typically one is just a set, two is a super set, Anything more than two is gonna be a giant set. So I'll be doing face pulls uh, with, with bands. I don't have cables and I don't know, best I can do is bands, so we're gonna work with that. So we're gonna do face pulls with bands, then we're going to do pull-ups, then we're gonna do some deadlifts, and then we'll uh, come over and do some jumping lunges. I'm gonna be probably over on that side of the yard to do the jumping lunges because, I don't know, I might do it here, we'll see. But anyway, let's get started, here we go. So face pulls work your upper back, your shoulders, your rear delts, and they really help build stability in your shoulder and your upper back. And for BMX riding and racing, that is crucial. Uh, I find that it helps with gait starts and just overall control of the bike. Next we're jumping into pull-ups here. We're going uh, not too close, not too wide just right in terms of hand width and in this case I am hanging at the bottom for about a second and then trying to explode up. Uh, this also helps with gate starts when I'm thinking of getting my head and shoulders to move forward really quick. The, uh, the pull up really helps to lock that in. You're pulling your whole body weight so when you get onto just your bike it's much easier to get that momentum going. Jump into this deadlift here. I'm going for lower weight um, and not higher reps. I'm doing sets of five here. But with the lower weight, I'm really focusing on exploding up from the lower body. The hip hinge uh, also works all of your posterior chain, which again is going to help with all of your BMX racing, especially when you get to manually. I'm going to try these in the grass, see how this goes. A little slippery actually. So part of the patio build actually has this great deck that is not gonna land right here but temporarily it's a great spot to do those jumping lunges. Let's try it up here instead of slipping in the grass. All right the last exercise here are these jumping lunges. I like to do them at the end of my set because this kind of simulates that third turn on most tracks. You are probably starting to die around the third turn at least at my age and so doing these later on in the, uh, in the giant set or in my lifting is really helpful and beneficial for my lung capacity and my cardiovascular fitness. All right guys, well thanks for hanging out with this video. Quick kind of look at the training. I'm gonna do some sprints later on in the week, um, probably on Thursday or maybe Friday morning. I'll do a couple block sprints, just standard sprints, and uh, use the Sprint Block 3000 for those. Uh, but we'll have a blast and then we'll see you guys 
on Saturday if you're coming up to Nova or down to Nova or from wherever you're at, come to Nova and race. And it's going to be a blast. We'll have some fun. Um, also got some big news coming up when we get there about some team uh, associations that, that we're going to be teaming up with and, and folks that we're going to be doing some racing with going forward. So check in that. Uh, hey, listen, take a second, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. That helps out the algorithm of the YouTubes. Uh, but uh, share this around if you like the training and stuff. And if you got questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'm always answering questions and comments. Thanks so much. We'll catch you guys next one. Peace.